Look, if you take a look over there, you'll see 3321 End Street. That was the house of Ben Bradley. Have you heard of him? Ben Bradley was Newsweek Washington's correspondent, and he was actually the neighbor with JFK. They were neighbors, and they used to walk around the neighborhood, and they met walking their children on this very street. They became friends, and JFK and Ben Bradley formed a relationship, a friendship. And actually, he, they, he recorded their conversations. The conversations he recorded with JFK's knowledge, he used in a book. The book was called Conversations with JFK, and he published it after um, Jonathan died. <clears throat> Interestingly enough, it was a it was bittersweet. The sweet part was it provided an inside, an insider's perspective on how JFK was as a human, not just a president in the public's eye. The bitter part was his wife, Jacqueline Kennedy, didn't really like it. She felt like it had profanity in it and it wasn't really the perspective of her husband that she wanted the public to know. <clears throat> Another little tension that was in between um, the Kennedy family and Bradley was Bradley had <clears throat> a niece. Her name was Mary Pinchot Meyer, and she lived in the apartment, the studio apartment above his home. She kept a very sensational diary, and it's been mentioned that it's possible she was one of the lovers of JFK. This would make sense why um, Jacqueline eventually ended her relationship with um, Bradley, <clears throat> the Bradley family, um, the book, potentially um, an affair. And the crazy part is none of this would have even been discovered had it not been that she, Meyer, was murdered. Why was there no assailant found for her murder? Why was there no um, solve for the murder? So <clears throat> it was actually never solved and we're not really sure why. However, nonetheless, besides the creepy mystery um, of what happened to her niece and the tension between their relationships. It's still a very cool and historical um, part of this neighborhood that that house was where he lived.